Attention, all the news in this video are all from around the internet and from our sources, we deliver to you the most realistic news, make sure to listen well and you can turn on the caption. Manchester United duo Fred and Alex tells to miss Burnley clash after testing positive for Covid. Manchester United will be without both Alex Tells and Fred for Tuesday's Premier League clash with Burnley at Turf Moor after the pair tested positive for Covid. Ralph Rangnick has been able to welcome Jesse Lingard and Edinson Cavani back into his squad for the upcoming match, but will be without the two Brazilians who are currently self-isolating. United have now revealed that Tells missed Friday's FA Cup defeat to Middlesbrough after testing positive prior to the match, while Fred reported to training on Monday only to be sent home. Left back Tells should have recovered in time to play against Southampton on Saturday, though Fred is now a major doubt to play in that match as he will need to isolate for at least the next five days. United confirmed, the Brazilian pair have tested positive for COVID-19, meaning they now have to isolate in line with government guidelines. Rangnick confirmed the unfortunate news on Monday, with Tells and Fred the only absentees he has to deal with aside from Mason Greenwood, who remains suspended following his arrest. Speaking to MUTV, Rangnick said, Yeah we have two players missing. Alex Tells already missed the cup game because he tested Covid positive last week. And, unfortunately, the same thing happened today with Fred. That's why he will be missing from tomorrow's game and possibly even the game against Southampton. Cavani and Lingard will both be in United squad against Burnley, while Rafael Varane is fully fit and available despite coming off early in Friday's FA Cup defeat to Borough. Paul Pogba played 82 minutes in that match, though, after making his long-awaited return to action and Rangnick feels the Frenchman could play an important role while Fred is sidelined. The German coach added, those things happen and that's why it's even more important to have a player like Paul Pogba now available again. Manchester United agree £12 million transfer fee with Flamengo for midfielder Andreas Pereira. Manchester United have agreed a £12 million deal plus bonuses to sell on loan midfielder Andreas Pereira to Flamengo, according to reports in Brazil. The 26-year-old moved to Rio de Janeiro on loan in the summer window and has largely impressed despite making a costly error in the Copa Libertadores final against Palmeiras. Flamengo have been keen to turn his loan into a permanent stay and have been in talks with United for several weeks, with TNT Sports reporting that a fee has now been agreed. The Brazilian club will pay around £12 million, though there have been suggestions it could be slightly less than that, while various bonuses could increase the amount United will receive. Pereira's loan deal had originally included a £17 million buyout clause but United agreed to reduce their demands in exchange for 25% of any money received from a future sale. In order for that to make up the £5 million difference, Pereira would need to be sold in the future for a fee in excess of £20 million. The midfielder, who has previously had loans at Granada, Valencia and Lazio, will sign a five-year contract. Pereira has been keen to extend his stay at Flamengo, particularly with the World Cup looming, and the Brazilian side have had officials in England since Friday to negotiate the final details of the deal with United. David Moyes warns Manchester United and Chelsea off Declan Rice with enormous price tag. West Ham manager David Moyes reckons Declan Rice is worth over £100 million with Manchester United, Chelsea and Manchester City all thought to be interested in a summer move for the midfielder. The 23-year-old is going from strength to strength for the Hammers and England, already winning 27 caps for his country and scoring twice. He was the hero for West Ham fans once again on Saturday as he came off the bench to score the equaliser against Kidderminster in the FA Cup fourth round with Jared Bowen securing the win in extra time to book their spot in the next round. Asked on Monday whether the central midfielder was now likely to be worth over £100 million, Moyes said, Yeah. I think I've said everything there is to say about Declan. He's a really important player for West Ham. He's someone who we value greatly and you can see what he means to the team. He's a really good individual and we're enjoying having him. Rice remains under contract at West Ham until 2024 and the club have the option to extend his deal by a further year, so they are under no immediate pressure to sell and they certainly don't want to, with Moyes a huge fan of his midfield star. Moyes was even more full of praise for Rice after the game on Saturday, likening him to Liverpool legend Steven Gerrard as he continues to add more offensive threat to his role at the base of midfield. 
He's incredible, the boy, he really is, Moy said. He reminds me of Steven Gerrard playing for Liverpool. Steven Gerrard could carry Liverpool, win the games for them. Declan Rice can do that for West Ham. Manchester United and Chelsea are the teams most likely to move for Rice at the end of the season, with reports suggesting the player prefers the switch to Stamford Bridge, where he began his career before being released at 14 years old. Everton is not the right club for Manchester United loanee Donny van der Beek, says Paul Parker. Donny van der Beek needed to leave Manchester United in January but Everton is not the right club for the midfielder, according to Paul Parker. The 24-year-old completed a loan move to Goodison Park on transfer deadline day and will spend the remainder of the campaign at the Merseyside club. Van der Beek has struggled for regular playing time since making the £35 million move to Old Trafford from Ajax in 2020. Meanwhile, Everton have brought in former Chelsea boss Frank Lampard to replace Rafa Benitez. Lampard's tenure got off to a good start as the Toffees beat Brentford 4-1 on Saturday to progress through to the fifth round of the FA Cup. Although former United defender Parker is hoping van der Beek excels, he feels the situation at Everton wasn't right under the club's last two managers, and Lampard is inexperienced himself. Donny van der Beek needed to go. He needs an opportunity to prove himself, Parker told Bonus Code Bets. Man United have lost players, but I think they're players who needed to go. Van de Beek, needed to go. He needs the opportunity to prove himself and I really hope it works out at Everton. He goes there and proves people wrong. He deserves that and only he can make that happen, by going there and proving a point. I don't think Everton is the right club for Donny van de Beek because it wasn't right under the previous two managers. They've got an inexperienced manager now, referring to Lampard, to go and try and do that, with very much the same clutch of players, which the previous two managers couldn't get going. So I don't know how he's gonna do that job. Rio Ferdinand explains Jadon Sancho's problem at Manchester United. Jadon Sancho has suffered from a lack of rhythm in the Manchester United team and because the side has no identifiable style of play, unlike his former club, believes Rio Ferdinand. Sancho has had a disappointing time at Old Trafford since his big money move from Borussia Dortmund in the summer, scoring just once in the Premier League in 17 appearances. He has three goals in all competitions, but he has struggled to maintain a place in the starting eleven and produce anything like the form that saw him become a big star in the Bundesliga. Ferdinand believes Dortmund had a style, system and ethos that suited the England winger, but the Red Devils lack that rhythm. The game played to his strength, the passing and movement, some rhythm in the team, Ferdinand told Vibe with five. If there's no rhythm Sancho is not as good and effective. That's what his problem's been. Ferdinand says that the Manchester United squad and management need to work out how to get the best out of one of their finest assets, because he is being let down and left in a vulnerable position in the current setup. The players have got to identify what he's good at, said the former England star. Some thought he would come in and take the ball from the edge of his box to the goal. That's not his game. He's about rhythm, one-touch passing, playing and moving and getting people off balance with a feint. He hasn't been able to do that because the system at Man United has not worked yet. It's left him in a vulnerable position. He joins another team that have got a lockdown way of playing, a true understanding, a possession-based team he thrives. Dortmund had a way of playing which was fundamental in allowing them to perform at their best. United have invested in some players, still searching for identity philosophy way of playing, makes it difficult for players coming in, let alone those that are still there.